We're good. So, let me just... Go on, where's the one I want? Here it is. Oh. We're already losing people. Hmm? What happened? Is everyone here? I'm here. Cool. I'm here. Hello. Good, everyone's here. My mic was acting berserk. I love that anime. That's a manga. I was saying, um, I might have to leave two hours into the session. Keep me updated. Will do. You guys... Are alone in the tomb. What do you do? Which well, tomb we have is to this? grab. This is where um, Vera just died. You have to get the weapon, right? You, uh, I thought Cormac grabbed it already. I thought I did too. Yeah, Cormac has the weapon. For, for like the stats and whatnot on those things, but uh, until you guys have attuned to it, the stats are null as of now. Okay. Um, I want to try to. I know you're going to laugh when I say this word. I want to try to erect some sort of... Uh -huh. <laughs> like, some sort of, like... I guess, like, temple or monument or marker to, like... I mean, a god just died. Like, some sort of, like, tomb... Not tombstone, headstone... Just some sort of marker. Something. This is, like, a holy spot. I see you've made yourself quite at home. What is that? Queen you turn, that you turn to see the Earth Queen, Queen Ama. And she looks to each of you. Um, Would you all come with me? Sure. Um. May I ask, are you alright? <clears throat> we saw you getting attacked by Nook. In better condition than Voss, I'm afraid. We have our clerics tending to him. Alright. Do you guys accompany her? Uh, Gelwolf. Yeah. She leads you guys out into a small room. You see inside Oh, if it'll work for me. Inside, and this this room is just going to be theater mind here for this one. That was Nook you fought. Yes. Yes. I yes. am afraid. What are you afraid of? I am afraid this was simply a, divi a diversion. That's how they always are. Makes sense for the god of deceit. She would not attack without reason. She came to us looking for allies. It does not make sense. 
she was looking for allies. She came to the, the when she first came to the aisle, she had been looking for allies. She was looking for servants. She, Perhaps she, you are right. She never thought of you as equal. Everything seemed normal. Until a handmaiden of mine alerted me to this. She pulls a tarp away to reveal a drow corpse. I wonder if what that's is where this? the sword came from. This was found inside the castle walls. Is it apparent how the body died? Is there like stab wounds or anything? There, you see, there is one large spear thrust right through his gut. He took down seven of our staff before one of our guards was able to stop him. Any indication of what he wanted? He was making his way to our vault. However, I don't know what he could have wanted. We didn't take time to question him. Well, what's in the vault? Did, did, hang on, I think Zelda just said, the Kraken is me being shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh. I hated you. <laughs> oh, you're so slow, this is going here. Uh, but <sighs> anyways I could allow you to see but I will warn you our treasure hold is sacred I would ask that you take nothing very well she kind of looks at Jukka as she says this and then to Cormac seeing you two holding the weapons oh Jukka's like checked out right now he's like going through the motions but yeah yeah sure I'm impressive huh? <laughs> uh, he's, Cormac's like I'm pretty fucking hot aren't I <laughs> So who is this person? This we is the queen know. of the earth. No, 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 the body. Some drow. But what the hell was he doing there? What was he doing here? Precisely. There Precisely. Oh, there. Um, no. I may know something about, we may know something about this. We met a, a wandering merchant of sorts, not from the isle. He found out. Ah. Passageway. Not from the aisle. He found a passageway leading from the mainland to the aisle. Well, that's would, impossible. Would one stone need an elemental heart? Unless the barrier does not. Now you gotta remember, this barrier is older than anyone on this island. Well, I will have power. some of my scholars look into it. But I believe the barrier extends below ground. Hmm. If it does not, there is a chance that someone could sneak through. But the only tunnels would be through the Underdark. Where the drow is. The drow have never come up to the surface. Not in a thousand years. No, they're coming up now. But times are changing. Varys is right here. And not necessarily for Yes, but I wasn't raised into the Underdark. I will warn you. The treasure hold calls many to it. Do not fall to its temptation. 
I think you said a magic word there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she lets you guys in. That being the case, why are you so eager to let us see the treasure hoard? I quite trust Voss. And Voss trusts Gale. Well, I'm glad you are not like, well, the people of water. Everyone else! <laughs> yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna inside check her. I feel like there might be an essence of no clear fight. Sure. Uh, and uh, roll me with it with advantage, just because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, and Gail can can reassure you of this. She is elected. Natural 20. She is elected. She is chosen by the people. They love her. <laughs> She's seems good and honest. Okay. She joins you guys in here, though. Oh, whoops. All right, I'm still heavily injured. <laughs> These catacombs were erected by the Duogar. <laughs> erected. The Duogar. All right. I just the Duogar have, have, have that effect. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see there is multiple, as of the, on the hallway on the way here, you guys see multiple servants cleaning up bloodstains and like, the drow got really far. Oh, jeez. I'm assuming they're after this throne, like, thing, because it's the centerpiece. Or something I... to do with this. So, before we move the drow, can I tell, I guess, by looking at either what they're wearing, or are they, like, military? Like, special ops? Are they just I, would you guys out? like to? Would you guys like to see? I think I have. I think I have a drow corpse lying around. No, I think I have their armor. I'm very interested in their armor. Well, you guys know what armor it is. You've seen it before. I want to pull up the drow detector necklace. Is it glowing? No. That's weird. It should be. Yeah. Oh, I'm you. Right here. Right. Varys <laughs> not a trap anymore. <laughs> Var Varys has been whitewashed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. White Varys. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. Oh, my God. If I actually lost the art, I'm going to be so mad. Hang on. I'll show you it in a second. You guys continue on with what you're doing. It's like my therapist talking to me. Don't worry. It's like, don't worry. White Varus isn't real. <laughs> white Varus. White Varus. I have Varys. to make a commission. It's just no, Varus, but white. You gotta get fully painted just to recolor. White Varus isn't real. He can't hurt you. Me. White Varus. <laughs> the commission. The, co the commission. Are you about to commission white Varus? <laughs> I just changed my token without saying anything. Found it. Found it. Found the art. 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 He's wearing this armor. Posted in general. General. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we've definitely seen this before. These are the same ones who attacked Helios. This is uncharacteristic for the for the drow. Something's going on in the other dark. What are you doing, Cormac, to her? What are you well, doing to the poor gal? Why are you it's just hopping around? No, you're fine. Uh <laughs> You see, she's 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 she's, she's quite impressive to you, Cormac. She's like six feet tall, she's you know oh, built like sure. You know, she's she trying to start anything. I mean, she's quite start. impressive, in case you're wondering. I'm quite impressive. I'm quite <laughs> impressive. It seems we're quite impressive. And then Gail, right there, sitting at a, a nice 5'11. Suddenly uh, communist. <laughs> suddenly <laughs> Duaga built these holes. They were abandoned and fell to us. Will nobody 
else has a claim. Claim to what? Well, we do. Uh, I didn't know if that's why the drow was coming here. Out of character real quick. Gail, did you see the hit points? Uh, oh. 28. Hey, I'm at 70 HP. Sweet. Excuse me, madam. I apologize. I don't think we caught your name. Ama. Allah. Ama. Ama. Allah. Ama. Allah. Oh no. Miss Ama, would you happen to know where the entrance to the Underdark is? Remember, uh, remember what the the snail guy told you. What Rattle told you guys. Yeah, the... yeah. He, he just he look he he came out of the cave. He looked back and it wasn't there. Weird. <laughs> I don't remember this. The big oh we're right you were <laughs> you were all stupid at the time so you wouldn't remember it anyway. So don't worry you don't need to remember it as Alex because Varys doesn't remember. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you get a cheat this time. There's not much for me to do at the time, so I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Anything... Any entrances to the Underdark should be sealed. That would you Jow, say? Jow are clever that way. They, they make you think that. Let me slip in. I should know. Can I do a Divine Sense while I'm in here? To divine Sense. You know, like, sacred or object that they were maybe trying to find sure I see Jika do that and I want to go ahead and take my time cast a ritual detect magic oh uh, magic out the ass in here so that's not gonna tell you anything the room it's like you turned your car speaker you didn't realize you had your car speaker at 60 and then you turn on the car and it, it's it's too much and that's how you get blown out speakers kids but if you Divine push. Sense, and Jukka, and Cormac, as you're up there. Bet you if you push this thing sideways, something's the gonna throne. happen. The throne. There's something about this throne. What is it? What can you tell me about this throne? The symbol... We, we know very little. The Dumagar built it to some god, we presume. A god. Tuatol Ken, we think. Not a king. Though the symbols are not our language. Hey, Which I can read Dorvish. Where? I don't know if that helps. I can too. Oh, sorry. No, no, no not Tuatol Ken. Deskar Voss. Uh, Deskar Voss, yeah, the uh, god of Earth. has something to do with why they do you do you read it is it dwarvish it is dwarvish but it. it's dwarvish blended with another language under common these are duogar well ferris can read anything yeah you got oh oh right fuck eyes <laughs> damn of the it rune keeper yeah 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 eyes of the rune keeper such a great invocation right 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 here Jugga, let me help you look for Looking at the throne. Beneath this mighty stone lies the half. Fell to the latter. Beneath the great mountain, eternally bedded in chaos, is its twin. 
beneath the mountain, eternally better than chaos is its twin. Guys, I think there's something beneath this throne. Well, let's give it a good old push. This throne is massive. <laughs> we got a bunch of strong. This lads thing is meant for here. like some firm giant ass. Like this is big. So what you're saying is that this is. A, uh, you see, she. A, you 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 can't just push it over. Is this sacred to your people? At least let me look away. <laughs> Alright guys, to what we have to do... To push it to the side. Guys, what we have to do is we lift using our She's back. claiming ignorance here. She's claiming... <laughs> I, I was gonna say, doesn't Cormac have like advantage on, um... No, or critical uh, hits on... What was it? Oh, he could just cleave this thing oh, in half. I, I, yeah, I don't think destroying yeah. it is a good guys, idea. I know what we have to do. We have to lift with our backs in sharp jerking motions. No, that, that's exactly what we shouldn't do. I'm pretty sure that's how you move heavy objects. <laughs> Alright, everyone, lift with your legs. Are you cracking this thing open, Cormac? I know you want to. I don't think we should break Okay, it. I hear the roll to hit. I think oh. I hear a roll to hit. Shouldn't it uh, auto crit? Uh, roll with adamantine. Roll with the adamantine and auto crits. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. They switched places on my sheet, so I accidentally clicked the wrong one. So it, it's uh, an auto crit because it's a structure. So can you just roll a crit on purpose? Can you roll crit damage on purpose? I, you know I, I might be able to build that, but it's going to take me a little bit. Don't worry about it right now. Uh, you cleave the add hell it, out of this stone. Add an extra 36 damage to that. Yeah, it works. It works. Oh, okay. Oh, I should have You away as well. slash through the stone, taking a massive chunk out of it. You watch as, like, so you know, like, he, he chunks out essentially here. Let me draw here. You watch as Cormac basically takes out a huge chunk, and the rest of it sort of falls to the side. Cormac, can you make me a deck save? <laughs> and Gale as well. Can I see it coming? Yep. Okay. Great. No, no, you only need it. It was a low DC. You guys jump out of the way as the throne, boom, and down into the cavern below. Oh god. <laughs> and you see Fool of a Duke. Queen, you see the queen Fool of a Duke. Uh, you see the queen turns back and she's not looking at you guys. Jocka and Varys are looking at the same thing. Planted in the stone of this throne is a handle. What's the make on this handle? Dwarvish. I grab it. Yank the sword from the stone. You see this handle. It's got bits of what would have been a weapon still attached to the top of it. Can I pull it out? That's what she asked. <laughs> uh, it looks like this. Yes. This is the only reference I have, but uh, Octus, you'll know the reference immediately. The sword and the stone? Uh, no, this is what the the thing looks like. Is there no are high res you, version? Are you, putting, are you putting the are you putting the broken straight sword art of? <laughs> no, it looks like this. Uh, in general here, it looks like Merica's hammer. It looks like this. Oh, it's almost like a shillelagh type deal. Like like there's supposed to be more to the head, like to the head of this item. All right, yeah, I reach over and I grab the shaft. You grab the shaft and you thrust it yeah. uh, outward <laughs> before sort of retracting. And <laughs> I go easy on it. <laughs> I guess I have no do idea what this is. On this thing. Screaming holy energy. Whoa. Screaming it to the rooftops. You don't Careful, want Jocka, you have to be gentle. Wait, with a hammer? Wait a minute. I... Might it... Is, does it remind me of something I've sensed before? God's pain. Yeah. 
Are you is it one of the there kidding? was there was a weapon, a third weapon split in two, and lost the time. Is it... This is half I of it. We might have found half of the hammer. The Whelm hammer. Is it is a super hammer. No good right now. But this is half of the weapon to create life. Oh. Now you know what the drow are searching for. Guys, the shaft creates life. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that what shafts usually do? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Varys, what did you say about there being a, a, another part of this in chaos? Didn't they say the, the rest falls to the ladder? Let me reread the transcript. Is it rusty ladder? Do I have to reread the transcript? Uh, just just the, just the second part. Meaning is the drow have the other half. <laughs> uh, no. So, okay, hang on. There's one reason that doesn't, that doesn't make sense, Kale. This inscription could be thousands of years old. How would the drow have it? How would they know? Because they haven't left the Underdark in a thousand years. They haven't left the Underdark in a thousand years, but... How would they know it's here? How would they know the drow have it? With absolute certainty, how would they know? And how would the drow know this is here? So these dwarves who made this, how would they know the drows had it? If the drows did have it. Uh, right, because but they, the drow I'm assuming because to they gave it, it to them. Now, why would they do that? <laughs> Maybe because they didn't want the weapon falling into the wrong hands. The so drow are that... always in the wrong hand. Oh. <laughs> okay. So that's oh. that Maybe they enslaved them. Uh, yeah, so, so the, the drow okay. enslaved the, the, these dwarves. Duigar. Yeah. The deep dwarves. However, the, the, the um, the first lie under this great mountain. That's where you guys are now. The first lie under this great mountain. The second buried beneath chaos. Chaos. Can I look at the map? Chaos. Can you look at the world map? Yes, please. You figured it out. You figured it out. Now, if Zeldok was here, I know for a fact Zeldok would know this because Zeldok marked it on your guys' map. Alisand told you about a place where you guys were in the past. The Chaos Temple. Yep. The Chaos Temple, an unexplored region of the map. You guys have not gone that way at all. You have not been there, have not done that. It is located here. Mm -hmm. I remember. The Chaos Temple would have been the temple to Arashem. So the place you guys went where you killed him, that giant monster that was supposed Sobek was going to release, that was his prison. This would have been his temple. Hmm. You guys have never been there. Okay, let's go. There's only one issue. <laughs> It's really I... far away, and you guys have things to do here. Yeah, we still have to deal with the princes. Speaking of which, don't we have all four weapons now? You do. Gail, did you still want to speak with the elemental? Try to settle a peace, or do you want to just walk him back away? Of course, I would rather have peace. Is the lady going to let us take this with us? Your, your highness. I must ask you a favor. What would you ask? Destroyer of thrones? <laughs> well, no, I did that. Destroy. She just, <laughs> and she sort of glares at Cormac. Impressive. <laughs> Chuck is so in. Cormac's into tall, earthy, earthen women. Earthy, earthy with girls. No, I'm not trying to hit on her. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, so Cormac. Impressive. Cormac is right. He's the Slayer of Thrones. Slayer of Thrones. Chaka here is a Slayer of Gods. And this weapon could potentially help us with that. 
Nook is only one part of a bigger problem that we're trying to solve. And this weapon can help us on that How do I not know? How do I know you will not fail? I will tell These you weapons that. were nearly lost once. If they are lost again, it could spell doom. Yes, but there's an even bigger problem. If this remains here, none, no one will be saved. Sobek, Nook, all of them, they will stop at nothing to get this. Do you understand? They will flatten. They will burn every inch of land. It, this is not safe here. He's right. It's not safe anywhere. Nook will be back. She's not dead. And the drow almost made it in here. You said it yourself. That means someone else knows it's here. Which means... The so only people... There's nobody old enough. Yes, but if Who the could drow have told knew, them? If the drow knew... Oh. More than one drow knows. How Wait a minute, Cormac. What's old. the idea? How old is Sobek? Oh, Sobek's infinitely old. Sobek's as old as the world. So is Helios. But wouldn't he know? Yeah, but he wouldn't but, even move for But it. so was Veor, and Veor didn't know where the hammer was. Veor didn't even know it was here. Well, who changed the, the elves time? of time? The elves would know. The elves would know who put it here, but it's a question of if they tell you. Which... But there is one other person you guys are forgetting. Alison. Mm, no, but Craven. You'll, you'll figure it out. In time, Cra Craven's gone, but in time, you guys. Wizard Rock. Cormac. Wizard Cormac. Cormac. Archmage Cormac. You got Archmage Cormac, yes. We gotta go back in time to see Archmage Cormac. <laughs> she gives you guys a nod. Thank you. I will call all of the elders here to our city i will have the champions stay here as protection you may take the weapons in their stead you will return them once the princes are defeated and not a second after are we clear so what of the hammer i will make sure uh, the hammer does not belong here Okay, it's so as Cormac said. We have no claim. So to be clear... You, you guys can have the four weapons. She's going to call all of the island's leaders here as a distraction to give you guys time. Because she cannot justify you guys carrying around their heritage and pride. She cannot justify that. But she can give you time. Your Highness, I know you don't need this from me, but might I advise you to tell nobody about what was found in here? The more people that know, the worse it will be. Very well. The second they find out we have it, they're going to be coming for us. Yeah. We should all get some rest. So... I have some attuning to do. <laughs> sure. So, so no, the four no, of no. you can attune to these weapons and go that. take one on right now if you want. Okay, Wait, we need so... to be attuned to. No, you'll all need to give up an attunement slot. Four of you need to attune to these weapons. Well, I'm already attuned to one. You're attuned to one. You have earth, fire, and water. I can attune to the water. Uh, Cormac, you raise your hand and she. It... Yes. So to be clear, you said to kill these elementals, not stop. trap them. Kill them, trap them, stop them. I don't care. What about okay. convincing them to not cause harm? <laughs> you are mad. Possibly, but... They can't be reasoned with. Well, if there's anyone to reason with them, why not me? Do you know why you are champion? Because when the time came to seal the princes away, 
It was your ancestor who turned on Yon Shibin. They did not hesitate to lock them away. I understand, but my ancestor is not me. I'm still acting the same role. But perhaps when it comes to your companions' lives, you will see the truth more clearly. Okay. She leaves and takes you guys out of the treasure room. She's not leaving you guys in there. <laughs> yeah. That's not happening. I'm not leaving you in there as a DM. Not a fucking shot. <laughs> I wasn't going to take anything. Yeah, same. I can't afford to take anything. Yeah, I'm leaving with nothing. But, with hammer. however, though, as she squirts this out, is she, like, in front of us? Behind us? <laughs> She's behind you. <laughs> however, <laughs> however. Uh, she's behind you guys. I want to drop a jump stuff. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Teleport back in. <laughs> oh, here's the question. Are you guys actually going to go take one of these things on? Are you guys going to long well, rest a tune and bum I rush one of these things? Rest. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I was thinking. It, I, thought, I thought if we had the four weapons, doesn't it do something to them? Yeah, you can, you can, you can imprison them. Okay. You can seal them away. What I was thinking was like, since they just need to be used within 24 hours, I would just like put it in and then go with Gil and depending on what he wants to do and hey, because that way the first three weapons would be like pre-locked and we'd just be waiting, like waiting on what, whatever Gil wants to do. Uh, what I want, like, what do you mean? Like, like oh, like, like prepare to, to imprison one and then. Yeah. Cause, cause Will, Will said. That all keys need to be used within 24 hours. So we could use the first three. To free them. No, no, no. To free them. Yeah, to free them. That's to free them. You guys got to all, like, you know, it's like it's like He-Man. You guys all, ha! And then it's like, they, they... <laughs> nah, Captain gotcha. Planet! It's like a, yeah, it's like a, you guys are doing this synchro, synchro something. That, 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 that... I Synchronize. take the form of a bucket of water. <laughs> Take the form of Trisha's tampon. Well, in that case, what do the earth and fire weapons look like? The earth weapon is a giant. Ha uh, you guys can see them in the art in the elemental aisle there. Uh, the fire one uh, is what did I say? The fire one was. It's a glaive. It's a glaive. Uh, the earth one is a big ass halberd, a uh, big sort of like warhammer halberd style thing. Uh, it's a great axe, and then a. Uh, slong sword. Long sword. Schlong sword. Schlong sword. <laughs> I, I like hold up. Uh, here's a question, guys. Mic. Also, hey guys, are you out. guys teleporting back to the water city to long rest? Because that's where the airship is. You guys left it there. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, and we do need the airship. We do need the airship. Too bad we can't teleport the airship. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense to go back to the yeah, airship. Yeah. All right. Take a long rest. I'm gonna let you guys use Zeldox Scry. Who do you want to scry on? Um. Your mom. Could, could I? Could I? Could Maybe. I scry on someone. I have someone I'd like to scry on. All right. Stick out your tongue. What? I figured out how to make an auto crit. <sighs> so I got that in. Did you? Yeah. Why the tongue? Yeah. Every time the... with the tongue. It just works better that way. Fine. Uh, <laughs> I, I give him like a split tongue like a snake. Oh, uh, what the oh. fuck? <laughs> It'll uh, heal. Heal it right now. <laughs> uh, the orb bleeds. And uh, who do you scry on? Lucernus? Yes. <laughs> okay. How did you know? You see him standing alone in a field. Oh. You see, he sort of wipes his eyes and he
Jeez. Oh my god. You see, he looks up to see the volcano, and you watch that he starts booking it Wait, through what, this field. Uh, which volcano would be now? The would it be like Krakow or the or the one that fucking Imix is in? He is right here. Ah, oh, fuck. And you see him hauling ass to Portal Town. Oh, to Portal. Okay, okay. He has his weapon. Oh shit, he does. Yes. Well, to be oh, I would say technically Voss did, but that was Nook disguised as Voss. And all seems well. Now, guys, in case you're confused as to who he scribed on, the champion of fire who is missing. Or not so anymore. But you guys long rest, and you're back in the water city. Have you well, all attuned to the weapons? Right, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, and I de attuned from my alchemy jug. What's everyone de attuned from? <laughs> the alchemy jug is so important. We, yeah. What are we gonna do without our four <laughs> gallons of mayonnaise? <laughs> Sword. You said flame tongue? Yeah. Okay. Varus. The demon on my con. Oh, you know you have to roll new artifacts properties, right? Yeah, but you know, you said you'd get back to me on that for the buffs and debuffs that that comes with. Yeah, we're gonna do that as soon as you reattune. And Octus, you're already attuned. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what do I need to reattune to? Uh, I unattuned from my sword to reattune to my sword. Okay, so here's the question: Are you guys? All right. So first off, uh, the basic properties of them are uh, this: they are plus two weapons that deal the damage type of that weapon. Uh, halberd. Uh, Halberd Javelin, not Javelin, uh, Halberd Glaive, Great Axe, <laughs> Javelin, and Longsword. It's only a thrown weapon. Uh, yeah, Halberd Glaive, uh, Great Axe, uh, now I'm assuming Jucko's attuning to the water one. Yeah. Great Axe, okay. Wait, do you say they do extra damage based on their element? No, no, no. Okay. They're plus two weapons. Uh, Varus, Earth or Fire, or who's attuning? Uh, I'm, Cormac I'm taking, and Varus, Earth and Fire. I'm taking Fire because I'm not be, going to be able to lift the big ass hammer. Okay. And Cormac, you're taking the big hammer. Yeah, sure. Whatever I can swing. That's fine. The big earthy hammer. Whatever. Uh, the suggestion is this. Earth, wind, and Fire. Dun, 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 You guys all get a spell once per day with this. It's a very high level spell. Even Cormac is going to get to cast some spells. Ooh. Fancy. Uh, Jukka. Yes. Tsunami. Fuck yeah. I've always wanted that spell. Uh, you now get Tsunami. So have fun with that. Please be safe. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to use that spell. Uh, who is the fire sword? I do. Perfect. Hmm. I'm just making sure this is the spell I want to put on it. The ability to cast fireball at ninth level once per day. <laughs> Ninth level. <laughs> uh, with this one, uh, you can cast Sunburst once per day with the fire weapon. About to look that up. See what it does. And Cormac. Mm-hmm. Level is the spell. There it is. Uh, Cormac, Earthquake. <laughs> Once a day. You guys also get three charges per day of a legendary action. 
associated with this weapon. All four of you must burn all your actions for that turn to try to do this. This consumes your whole round. Got it? Your whole turn. This consumes your turn. Wait, what does? All four of you can consume your turns together in unison and have a chance to drop the elemental to the ground. It will then be, the prince will then be consumed into whatever blade of its element it is. Mm. Will, will, this, will this ability link with the, that I posted in roll 20, does that um, apply to the weapon spell? What weapon spell? Sunburst, what the one you gave me? Yeah, what about Sunburst? Sunburst does radiant damage, and that's that correct. my ability works with that. What ability? Radiant Soul. I posted it in roll 20. Oh, you posted it in roll 20. I mean, I don't see why not. It's just sure. charisma. It's just sure. Charisma. Sure. Just yeah, just really. Sure. Yeah, sure. When it's sunburst into 12 D6, I don't really think you need to worry yeah, about that, it that much. Uh, yes, sure. 12 D6 plus 5. <laughs> now, here's the question, guys. Do you want to fight one of these two guys now? If so, which one? What was the base type weapon that I have? Uh, it's a D. It's the Warhammer, I believe. What does a Warhammer do? You mean a damage? maul? A Warhammer yeah, the, is the one-handed one. Right, Warhammer's one. Maul. maul. It's the maul. Okay. It's, it's the maul. Okay. It's the big freaking. Let's go to the mall today. Let's go to the mall. Nobody. I don't know what the song is. I don't. What? Varys, help me out here, brother. Um, sure. Let me look it's, it up. What's it called? Let, sure. every, let's go to the mall by Robin Sparkles. No. Who the fuck yeah, is Robin know it. Sparkles? It's from How I Met Your Mother. Okay, whatever. <sighs> well, I don't watch TV. I think we've had this discussion before. Do you guys? Y'all have a TV? Hold on one second. Tell I need to know what you guys are doing. I can. I mean, I have a personal thing and what we should be doing. Oh, cool. So I have a an ability, um, Hexblade Curse, so it's after you finish a long rest, which we just did. Now, so I can use my Charisma modifier instead of my Strength modifier. You're making it your packed weapon? <laughs> your Hexblade well, weapon? Well, I guess I can, yeah. Once per long rest. You could, yeah. Wait. Wait a minute. Was God's Bane your pack weapon before? Yes. You can summon it. No, he can't. You can't? Yeah, you but can't? I, I thought you could. He died. It doesn't end it. Yes, no, it does. I, I also didn't. Going. Yeah, I, I Oh, died. does it? Does it? Does it end on death? I, I mean, it I definitely know. does. That's a DM overrule. Okay. Pack, if a tomb ends on death, packed ends on death. I think that's even rules as written, Will. Oh, is it? Okay, cool. Be, yeah. That's useful. <laughs> Guys. Oh, uh, well, there is something personal I'd like to do. I want to commune with Kaizel. She hasn't been answering my phone calls. She has not been. Oh, yeah. And, Varys, if you talk with her, remember, I asked you to ask her something. Oh, yeah. What was that? Um, How can you forcibly sever someone from a patron? Got it. Do you try? You're trying to reach out to her. Yeah. This time while I meditate, I want to hold the staff. <laughs> was that a sneeze or, or yeah, a laugh? It was a sneeze. <laughs> okay. I was like, did I say something funny? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I sneezed. You hear a reply. You never cease to amaze. Kaizel, I haven't heard from you in a while. I have a lot of questions. You do not have a lot of time. Did you send Ilya to that island to kill me? Yes. Why? In time. 
Or, or I should ask, what am I to you? What do you have to gain from this? You've granted me power, you've granted me everything, but for what? You are a threat to me. That is the point, after all. You will be the thing that outlives me. Every patron seeks to guide, thinks to carry on, but existence in its very nature is futile. Your power has grown exponentially. I have one more question. How, and I'm not referring to you, <laughs> how would one go about forcefully severing a pact between a patron and the respective warlock? There are two ways. Bring your patron of anger where they cast you aside or kill them I see you will be what outlives me Paris you will be my legacy Do not fear. You will see her again. Have a good night, Kaizel. And I am the communion before she can. <laughs> oh, I hang up the phone first. <laughs> Lisa, and then are you not on good terms with Kaizel? It's questionable I... consistently. Yes. Okay. It's iffy. Cause you did just mention she sent someone to kill you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he was. Uh, she sent someone to. She sent another weaker one of her servants to try to kill Varys to see if he's worthy of transcending her. Oh. Okay. She sent another patron, to, another servant, to go kill Varys. So it was Varys. Like a test, not an assassination. Yeah, it was a test. She didn't care if Elia died. She didn't give a shit. That's also what bugs me the most. Yeah, she doesn't give a shit about anyone yeah. who's not Varys right now. Varys is her prized champion, the thing that will that will be her legacy. She will be remembered for this champion. So she wants to make you as powerful as she can. I want She's to grooming you in a way. In a really <laughs> weird way. No. I want to focus on my palm again. But this time I'm thinking of a black spider. Oh why? And I'm gonna say I call upon you, not in the name of Varys, but in the name of Eren. I have some questions I would like to ask you. What the fuck? As you can sleep on the airship that night, Varys sits in his room. The sound of wood splintering. As these beady eyes open in the darkness of your room, Varys, oh my Varys, how are you? Do not dare utter that name. You don't deserve to say that name. Have you come back? Our Aaron. It would seem you have some traitors in the Underdark. Is that what you think? I don't think you'd be someone who'd willing to work with Sobek. You said it yourself last time we spoke. 
Loth. does not matter how one wins. You have sworn yourself against Selvig, turning Kaisel against Selvig, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Then, oh, how the and mighty you, have fallen. You feel this cold against your back as these hands sort of cradle you as she comes down from the ceiling, this female drow-like body. She hangs upside down. The mighty have fallen. Your gods are dead. And my loyal followers will return to me when this is over. How can you be so sure? They might see Sobek as someone worth worshipping greater than yourself. I know what I presence? am. Would you feel the presence vanish? The champion of Kaizel. That's what I am. I look down at my palm and I do not fear you. And then I go to sleep. And a long rest. Which prince are you all going to fight? It seems like the plan. Oh, I gotta turn you back up. You were clipping so hard there. My mic was consistent on the Discord. I heard him consistently as yeah, well. Yeah, I heard him too. Maybe. It might have just, I might have just clipped through the uh, recorder. I, well, you were really loud on my end too, and it was really, really, it was like, it was clipping for me as well. I don't know. Oh, okay. It might have, okay. I'm not a huge thing if we lose a little bit of that. But, well, no, I just turned you down. Uh, this, I just turned you down in Discord because it is. Recording off my okay, Discord cool. audio, so cool. that's all fine. But it's just holy fuck, that was yeah. so loud. <laughs> IMX or Yanshi Ben? I thought we were gonna go see the the Wind Elemental, so Gil could have his conversation. Yeah, he's also so you want... he's also um so a giant living storm cloud. Yeah, that. But he's also weaker than IMX, if I recall. Uh, he sh many I mix you can fight on the ground. Mm. <laughs> that, that's like a huge party pump. does fire damage. This is true. You guys do a lot of fire damage. Zeldok does fire, but he's not here. And I guess maybe saving I mix <laughs> yeah, would be wise because you guys are going to need everything. What about the fire? Element? That's I mix. That's I mix. Uh, you guys can see their locations. Imix is here. Uh, the red circle, the blue circle is Yanshi Ben. What happened? What about the water elemental? He's left gone. the island. Oh, damn. Because yeah, you get those DM. Yeah, I'm okay. responding now. Oh, oh no. Okay. They're planning. Yeah, I don't know if it's doable. I just. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? You're fine. You're fine. Um, what do you say, Gil? What, what do I say? Well, you know this play better than most. 
I know what I want to do is considered extremely stupid. I would like to talk it out with Yon Sibin if possible. I don't care where we go. Let's get one of them. Fuck. We have our airship back, right? So we can fight it in the air, theoretically. <laughs> theoretically, yes. Um, it might get shot the fuck now. <laughs> or it gets destroyed. Are you guys going after Yan Shi Bin? Can I get a hell yeah? Can I at least get a confirmation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this okay, is a giant cool. Storm yeah. cloud, right? Giant storm cloud. Alright. Let's fuck him up. Let's fuck him up. <laughs> Jucka. Buddy old Hal. Hi. Hi. Good, uh, good to hear from you. So, wait, do we you... get another scribe when we long rest? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it'll take you guys at least uh, how many days by airship? Took you two days to get there before. It's gonna take you. It took you guys. Hang on. From here to here was two days. So roughly speaking, this is gonna be about three days, give or take. So three scribes, if you guys would like. Completely optional. Well, you know Jaka wants to scry a mandala. Do you want to do the mandala and scry? I think um, you really want to do the mandala and scry. I do, but I'll, I'll, I'll hear from it, everyone else. If I'll, I'll hear from the court. I mean, uh, yes. I'm fine, I think. I got, By the way, I got like my one scry that I wanted. Did you guys get your 12 temporary hit points? Oh, I will. Put well, I put them in. Oh, wait a minute. I all I have someone we could be definitely useful on scrying upon. Tabby! No! Damn it! <laughs> that be the third scry. Yan Shi Bin, we can fucking scry on him. Uh, you start, uh, hang on, you guys can actually see him though. True, but he's you don't a know what big he's ass doing. Uh, true, he's a uh, big ass storm cloud though, and he's chilling over there. Yeah, you don't know what he's doing, just, but you could. I was just thinking, like, if we had no better. Okay, scries. but to be fair, to be fair, if you scry on him, there's a chance you just see clouds, because he can take the form of clouds, and it appears he's that form now. I'm just giving you guys a, a heads up. It's just, uh, I was conferring with Jucka about having a conversation with Drax <laughs> regarding about finding the. Uh, some sort of item that would stop me from being mind controlled which is uh, what I talked to you about before yes 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 fair uh, wouldn't help you too much in this situation no no and it's not something that there's going to be a resolution to right now it's for the future okay uh, so Yanshi Bin and Mondolin are on the table any other options Tabby is there anyone you want to subscribe Abby <laughs> Yeah, he's on the plane of existence. Or, sorry, the material plane. Alright, should we lock in those three? So, Tabby, Mondal, and Yachi Ben. Okay. What's the vote? Uh, Cor Cormac. Tabby. Gail. Uh, uh, we have three, right? Can't we just do all of them? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, which one first? <laughs> Let's do Tabby first. Tabby first. I was like, why do we have to choose? I thought we had yeah, all three. Right? She is on the material plane. Oh. And we didn't teleport. Uh, be ready for the weirdest uh, Hydra bot experience you guys are going to have. You see him sitting there in like a magically conjured hammock, listening to. You see, there's this sheep sitting next to him with his mouth open that's playing music. And he's. <laughs> Can you believe it? I think I'm bad with me. <laughs> you see, he's just sobbing. You see, his head peeks up and he. 
shut up, bro. Just shut up. You see, he waves for the sheep to close his mouth. Oh, right. The, sh the, sh the sheep. I forgot. I mean... Oh, <gasps> just crying on me. Where are you? I don't cry when I see one. And he looks up to... <gasps> My friends, tell me you have not abandoned me. <gasps> right, you cannot tell me. This is, this is cry. Yes. <laughs> oh, I am so lonely. I've resorted to this... <laughs> I live on the back of a turtle. You see, he is on the back of a large turtle. They kicked me out. They kicked me out. Of your piece. Is he asking to room with us? <laughs> and you see, he's just, like, really sad. And you see, he starts to... <laughs> Can you believe it? God, how good... And the sky ends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> How far he has fallen. Who, who was that? <laughs> He's this weird guy who does favors for us and we do favors for him. He's yeah, actually but... quite nice, but he, he's he also mean... like a full demon. We he's have his demon. marbles. Yeah, but he's a nice demon, kind of. Uh, he's he has a good sense of humor. I'll give oh, him that. Um, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, he's also like a. Is he like a prince? Uh, no, he's just okay. a demon. Okay, I was imagine him like. He's some a powerful demon. He serves demon. a prince. Yeah, he serves a prince. But we he... we have his marbles. And those hold significance. Why? Yeah, they go to... They lead to each individual layer of the Nine Hells. Well, I, well, I know that, but I didn't okay. know. I, Dale doesn't know. We we have a contract with him to d deliver these to him. However, he didn't specify a time limit on the contract, so we're technically holding him hostage. Yeah. Oh. We, we don't really want to... They're kind of extorting him. We're, we're not going <laughs> to... Uh, we're not going to make it... We're not gonna make a decision on giving them back to him unless we hit Zeldok, because Zeldok. Yeah, doesn't. no way. Don't make yeah, that decision. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're no Definitely way. don't no. make that decision. <laughs> but Gail's just like, even if he's a demon, that is quite cruel. He can be quite tricky with his contracts too, so I'm I don't have too much. Ah, uh, a fair yeah. dicking. Yes, it is a fair dicking. Excuse me. <laughs> Long rest! <laughs> Next night! <laughs> what is the next scry? Modelin or Yanchi Bin? Maybe save Yanchi Bin for when you're getting close. That probably makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mondolin. Mondolin. I know you guys have been waiting for this one. I still have. I don't think. Gail doesn't even know who. Uh, Gail's heard of Tales of Mondolin, I imagine. Yeah, because everyone hates fucking Mondolin. But I've still everyone. never seen him, nor have I even know what he sounds like. I don't know what he's done, other than what Jukka has told me, probably. Yeah, and I definitely, like. No, you cut, definitely made it uh, sound horrible. <laughs> I cut the, uh, the, the anchor tattoo I have on my forearm to draw the blood. You hear a knock. This, like, again, it's sad to see, almost sad, how far Maudlin has fallen to for this servitude of Sobek. This, like, shitty crypt door opens. You see Alisand walk in. It's done. Are you sure? You have to be right about this. It's done. Good. I heard you had a visitor. She sort of looks a little concerned. What, what are you talking about? 
I heard you had a little run-in with an old friend north of Helios. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? My loyalty is to Selbeck, not you. You are nothing but a frail little man. Selbeck will cast you aside the second he sees fit because you are nothing, Mondarin. Yes, Queen. Breed him. Drag you see, him. You see that he stands and walks to face her. Do not forget I made you. I can unmake you. And I will unmake you. Most excruciating way possible. How long until he takes control? Within the month. Good. Uh, they won't be ready for him. The scry ends. Damn. Damn. The model and Alison are competing for Sobek's number one, number one kid in the class right now, and it's <laughs> number one kid in the class. Well, they're competing for the teacher's pet spot right now. Yeah, and so I guess we don't know what that something is that's within the month, right? With that's within what? They, uh, they, with, within the month, something is, or someone. No, no idea. The last time you guys saw Alisan, she was walking towards a city. But you guys didn't scry on her for, like, a week, so whatever happened, happened already. And could we tell where they were, I guess, location-wise? One of the cities in the yeah. north. One of the places you guys have never been. So they're not in Terrasgul. Oh, no, no, sorry. No, no. In this scry, they're in Terrasgul. Oh, okay. Okay. However, that final night, just as you guys are getting ready, you're sitting down to scry. Yes. You guys feel the ship rock. And you guys step outside to see this veil of fog and mist just creeping in around. Well, I think he found us. Guys, brace yourselves. Put your tokens on the map, guys. Oh, shit. It's okay, you're gonna talk to him. Uh, I am gonna, I'm going to, I am, I am gonna, I am gonna try and talk to him. Wait, are we, are we above deck, or are we, like, in the bedrooms? Oh, uh, you'd be running out from the bedrooms, but the wheel is here. Oh, yeah. I do see that it's starting to, do you see it's starting to turn? Where's that wheel? Right here. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm trying to try to stabilize it then. Uh, I'm gonna say Jaka can pretty easily catch. Oh, okay, then, I'm, then I'll let him do it. That and you're gonna try to speak to him? What do you say? You're, the wind is howling around you, the storm is churning. But you see, now you know, you know what spell he's capable of becoming. Yeah, I He's do. not right now. He's just a cloud right now. Dear great ancestor, heed my call. I simply wish to converse as of right now. Those are fancy words for talking, I think. 
No, that's that song from Mulan. I, d I don't know that I know that. That song. <laughs> Ancestors, hear my prayer. <laughs> oh, crap. I've never seen the movie, so I don't know. Oh, okay. You watch as this funnel cloud appears in the sky. And this figure appears with his arms out, floating there, this tornado body beneath him. Oh. Oh, hello. You're the one I've heard so much about. You've heard of me. Oh, yes. They all talk about you. Who is there? Oh, is that your mother? I get so confused. Probably thinking of my mother, but do not worry. We get confused all the time. Now, you have come to surrender. I assume. No. We have not ah. come to surrender. How unfortunate. We have come to strike a possible deal. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that won't be possible. And why is that? I merely would like to talk with you. I do not wish to shed family blood that's so how unfortunate I would like to ready my legendary action oh I was offered a similar deal I believe you know to whom I refer. Of course. The white owl she told me. She is the god of deception and lies. And we played our part perfectly. Fly, she said. Fly and sin. Wait in the east, and they will follow. Let all Hydra ravage the ghosts, destroy their ships, attack their cities, while you keep them here. And what do you know? You came right to me. Frankly, I expected more from a great grandson. I mean, can you blame us? It's not like we knew your plan. Everyone who's not Gail, roll me perception. Gail, roll me perception based on. Hmm. I wish there was like a, a stat in D&D &D that's like, it is what it is. Just like a stat, just like, oh, if it's what, nothing what else, it's this. If it's nothing else, it's that stat. <laughs> oh, like a, like a miscellaneous? Like a misc stat. Dude, it's based on... That would be br so it's... useless. <laughs> no, it would be super useful in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> roll me a, <laughs> roll me a wisdom check flat wisdom not perception well that does not change regardless i'm not okay that doesn't change for you five why is five. cormac all the way off the, oh <laughs> why is cormac all the way off the ship jucka and varus you feel a shift in the air temperature change the storm smell of ozone in the air something's, something's right. changing Son, something's and Lighting. You came right to me. And we dealt with you, Nook. Already. You, 
I think you are mistaken, my boy. Well, she's not I dead, but don't she... want to make a deal. I came into this world to destroy it. Why would I listen? I also prefer my listener to you. you. And you watch as he says that. Why would I listen to you? You watch as he raises his hands to the sky and these bolts of lightning fire out. Has it Kill been three this is rounds it. already? Yeah, damn. I guess while we were talking? No, no, no. Because that's the From third... his hands. That's oh, no, from they're his just hands. Shooting... Okay, okay. I was like, he's already he's already gotten that far? Oh my god, how long is he And this? the storm of vengeance begins. Um, okay. So me and Varus prepared our legendary actions, so now it it's up to... Cole All right. And so hang on. Everyone roll initiative. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Please, please, please be good. Please be... Ooh! I got a 19. Uh, 13. 16. 20. Ooh. 16? Of course, Yancy Bin's probably a dexterous motherfucker, so he's probably gonna get higher than all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, all your guys' old initiatives are in there. Fuck. Hang on, what was... What? That's... Th no, those are new initiatives. What? No, I still see Nook and Old Cormac and... Oh, I... I don't. That's your guys' initiatives, right? I got that right? No. You deleted everyone but mine. Okay, can you three re-roll? Oh, cool. Can you three re-add it? Yeah, I'll re-roll. Sure. Hopefully I get higher. I did get higher, nice. I did not get higher. Oh no, just edit it. Just edit it to be the original one. Oh, okay. That's fine. I don't know how to do that. You click, click on, on that. So once you get- Oh, uh, order. yeah, you gotta <laughs> click on your token, though. You didn't click on your token when you rolled it. No, I did. Oh, so oh I think I know what happened. Me? Okay. Give, no, give me just, just a second, guys. I need to step out. Sure. All right. Click on the number oh. in the turn order. Cool. 16.14. Oh, wait. It didn't work. Let's see. He gets to go first. He's going to begin the Storm of Vengeance. I'm back. What did I miss? Nothing. Uh, he's gonna start the Storm of Vengeance. Yeah, he's starting his Storm of Vengeance, his ninth level spell. <laughs> if you let I that like the. Off. If you let that go all the way, yeah, you're screwed. But there's a chance you guys can stop him. Before so. that? Wait, what do we have to do with our legendary? So you guys have to consume. You guys consume your entire turns of initiative. You guys all fire your weapons towards him. Once that happens, he has to succeed. He has to... F so, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm saying this wrong. He will have to succeed. I'm sorry, I'm saying this wrong. Sorry. Okay. Each weapon triggers a con save. He needs to fail each weapon's individual con save to be trapped. So if you guys do it and two of you, so say say he fails the fire weapon. Mm -hmm. He's failed the fire weapon. He's failed it now for another 24 hours. Meaning you guys just need to keep going till you get all of them all Go. failures okay. on all the weapons. You know what I mean? Oh, got it. Each single one is four saves. He rolls four saves. You guys track which weapons he's failed, which ones he succeeded. Okay. But it's his turn first. He's just going to use the first tier of Storm of Vengeance, which is not too bad. Uh, however, 
You watch as lightning begins flash, thunders booming everywhere. Con save. All of you. How close do I have to be to you, Jaka, to get the bonus? Uh, ten, ten feet. Oh damn! I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm. No, you're not. No, I'm in fifteen yeah, you're, feet. Oh, good. That's fine. I oh well, actually, I was. I, well, I, I, I was directly on that line in the middle, like directly. Yeah, you. I'm, I'll give it to you. Okay, so then that is a nineteen for me. That's a six for me. Don't worry, this one's not that bad. So, if you're gonna fail uh, one of them, it's gonna be this one. This one's not kind of rough. I just need to check. I just need to be sure of his spell casting mod. Perfect. That makes his save a... Okay. That means Gale fails... And Varus fails. I Gale failed. I failed with a 19? You have a 17. I, I'm a plus two from Jekka's thing. Oh, okay. Oh, you failed. Oh. I thought oh, Jekka's no. thing was plus five. Well, yeah, I, already, but he well, already I have an aura of plus three for myself because I'm also a pound. Are you not taking the higher aura? No, I am, but that's a 19 still. You said a 19 fails. Only. You said, wait, you just said your aura was plus no. three. Yes. It is, so but that I'm plus three is just three is 20, not 19. No. No, it's already baked That's in. already in. I've already factored it in, so it'll only be plus two. If I oh. factor in Jukka's, because my plus three is already 19 factored fails. in. 19 fails. I don't have, I don't have a fucking okay. plus seven to con. 19 fails, so that's eight damage to Jukka. And, uh, sorry, eight damage to everyone who failed, half damage to those who did not. It's, little damage. it's only eight damage, but Varus and Gale are deafened. What does that mean? What? Deaf. You're deaf. What? Well, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's his turn. You guys look at each other. Are you using it this turn? We you guys could. consume your actions to do this. You consume your turn. I, it goes straight back to his like turn. We should do it right away. Yeah, I want to use I, mine. I ready my action. I'm gonna do it. All right. All of you guys, fire the weapon. Now, there's no roll to hit for this because this just this this just happens. But he's got to make con saves. He's got to pass their DC 20 con saves. Can I do mine like uh, Sailor Jupiter? Like, what is that? From he's Sailor seen, Moon. I, I, he's not seen that, so he doesn't know. Oh, what it okay. Is. Never no mind. idea. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't watch. All right. Stuff like that. <laughs> These are all seven plus seven. Oh my God! Did he fail three of them? He failed three. Oh my God! He failed three of them. All right. I'm gonna say Varus ready his action first. He's failed every one but Varus. Damn. Damn. I mean, what? What? <laughs> you what? guys watch as you bring these weapons down and these giant beams cleave down on top of them for a second. And you watch as one from each weapon, one giant chain shackle to each weapon, one to his arms and one to his leg. And you see Varus just misses the mark. But you guys now have these giant tethers to him. <laughs> And he looks fucking terrified. <laughs> Cause he's just like, oh no, wait a minute. Wait yeah, a minute. that did not go how I wanted. <laughs> All of you guys, little bit of damage. This is just passive damage from the storm getting worse. One damage, apparently. Christ. Great. Great. <laughs> Christ. Maybe he is should have taken our deal. Is it a concentration spell? Uh, it is, but that's not damage. So this won't and, break his concentration. And we just have to sit here and hold our weapons until all of them go off. We can we still do? Well, I guess you we guys can still, can do, still do stuff. You once that's there, the weapon is done. It'll follow you. The chain will be with you. He's chained. He's shackled. I'm you guys can still do other do stuff. Varus is the only one who has to do it again now. Um. However, he is definitely going to do this. And this does double damage to structures, so I need to search up an airship's HP real quick. 
Oh. Airship HP 5D. Whoa. Hundred and twenty. Okay. Cool. 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 Oh, cool. No. I need every single one of you guys con save. Twenty-four. That just passes. That's your one. I'm gonna go ahead and use a luck point. Cormac fails. Varys <laughs> fails. Oh, <laughs> going to roll from it. Oh shit! Jack, you two, two of you succeed. You guys take half damage. Uh, the ship auto fails. Um, otherwise, the rest of you guys take 40 oh, okay. uh, thunder damage. Is it 40? Damn. 40. It turns out it's just like a decently high level shatter <laughs> for no reason. Oh my god. I'm going to have to start using his legendary resistance on these con saves if he fails. He does what? have them, so I can... What? Yeah, he does. It's a saving throw. Aww. It's a saving throw. That's so mean. Cormac, you have your turn as normal now. I don't even know what to do to him. Oh, and he is going to move. Uh, he is going to move uh, out here. Jump on him. I Go get him. I Go can't... get him, boy. I, 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 <laughs> can't use any fucking spells on him because they all do fucking thunder or lightning. Yeah, he's going to be immune to that. He's immune to that. <laughs> I can't do that shit. Cormac, you... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you could use Earthquake, but that would do zero. <laughs> right. Right. Um... Oh, I'm so making a pot of craft dinner tonight. I just realized how good of an idea that would be. <laughs> Where did this come Sorry. from? Sorry. I looked at my previous bowl and I was like, damn. Dude, you still haven't cleaned that up? <laughs> Shut up. It's probably been like four days. Uh, you, Cormac, you throw the javelins. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, uh, that's kind of gross. <laughs> you watch this. Oh, no, no. It's literally been here since yesterday. What? It's not that okay. bad, but still. I had candy yesterday. Yep, yep. So the highest uh, uh, swing was 19, which I you assume... You watch as the javelin's just... Just down and... Just down. Uh, they don't even get close. Yeah. Uh, legendary action, though. Because he gets a reaction now. He gets to use his legendary action. And he is most definitely using his legendary action. Yes! I mean, I mean, shucks. <laughs> Varys. Yes. Oh my god. You're about to kill him. Never aren't mind you? Cormac. No, Will. Do it. Oh, it makes okay. sense. I'm the only one that hasn't used the weapon. Don't oh, egg him on! Yeah, but, but he That's... also probably would make you the least likely to want to attack, because the others have, like. Yeah, but he's not he's not worried about HP. He's got plenty of HP. Varus. Make me a con save. This is gonna be the natural 20. Come on guys. Come on, roll 20. Oh, come, come on, on roll 20. Come on, dice Christ. Yeah! <laughs> luck point, luck point! Are you using luck point? You might want to use luck point! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Watch it be worse. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Varys. He uses his suffocate ability. You watch as he reaches out with his one free limb. And, he, and you watch as this siphon of air as he draws all of the air from your body. You drop to zero. Damn. So now we can't do anything. So nobody else is attuned to the weapon. Except... No, I'm just kidding, go ahead. Wait, except... Don't you just don't have to get Varus to 1 HP. Don't you drop to 1 when you drop to 0? No, you drop to 0. I, I thought Varus had the, that contract thing. Oh, Varus, the book! There's yeah, the book. I know about the book. Have you I written was... your name in? Yes. Varus collapses 
And all you guys see is the sword. <sighs> That's that, that stands. Is so fucking broken. Try me, bitch. That's and you see his eyes just widen. <laughs> Gale. All right. Um. 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 Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, I guess I could do that. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Uh, fuck it. I, um, I cast, my. I cast Ice Storm on him. Okay. He needs to make me a saving Deck save? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure he can't fail this. 21. Yeah, he passes. But okay. they, but then he takes. Now, Jucka, at this oh, point, right. are you, like, hand on the wheel, or are you just like, if we crash, we crash, let's kill this guy? Um, so he, well, since he it's takes not my turn yet, I'm still driving. Okay, you still gotta... Hey, all right, okay. Damage. He oh. takes 10 damage. Is Ice it storm. frost damage? Uh, uh, four of it is bludgeoning, six of it is cold. Okay, cool. Don't Perfect. tell me he's immune to cold. He's not immune to cold. Ferris. Oh, is he resistant <laughs> Varys. That was fucking insane by Varys. Oh god. That ability is so broken. The fucking I'm suffocate. making sure he writes it. Oh, suffocate? Yeah, it's an insta kill. I use that legendary action again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck yeah, he did. Lucky. No, I'm just kidding. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> silvery if you have silvery barbs, silvery barbs. Jucka. All right. Um. I'm yeah, he's gonna... out of his legendary actions now because that costs all of all three of his to do the suffocate. Yeah. So... Well, he's just gonna do it again. What do you mean? Shut up. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> take a look at uh, Varus. I just give Jack a big thumbs up and a smile while like spitting blood. He's like, <laughs> you wouldn't be spitting blood, you'd be coughing because you got suffocated. Your throat is like the Sahara right now. You got it, Ferris. Just choke up a little bit. And I'm going to cast haste, Ferris. Okay. What will that do? Uh, you'll get two actions, your AC goes up. Uh, basically, you get like a sugar high. Okay. So it's like you drink okay. like six Red Bulls. Um, Jucka, he is. Oh, AC sorry, is that. Goes, yeah, your AC goes up by two, and uh, you have advantage on deck saving throws. I'm about okay. to do the meanest thing ever. You're about to suffocate again. No, I'm not. It's something worse. Oh. Great. And then... Let's see. How far away is he? Far enough. All 75. Right. I am going to... Get on Penelope. Go over there. We'll see. Oh, shit! Mountain. You watch as he mounts Penelope, takes off into the sky, axe in hand, and the ship begins to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he does take the wheel! As he launches into the sky. And I look at him and I say, You! Very good. Blow me. Uh, move your token over there, your, yep. however far you're going. How? What's this multi attack? I think it's like five attacks. How many is it? Dude, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's only two. That's pretty good. They only do fourteen d six. 
Oh, I honestly yeah. think the, El the Elden Ring theme is the best from software, like, main theme. All right. Uh, he's going to whack Penelope. Mm. Oh, no. Penelope. Dude, Junkai, are you about to fall to your death? But no, you would live because it, you max out at terminal velocity. That's right. Yeah, you're still hitting the ground at terminal velocity. Don't yeah. forget. Well, yeah, but he'd still live because the damage caps out, so he doesn't just die instantly. How much health does Penelope have? Um, not a lot, I imagine. Not a whole lot. She has uh, 59 hit points. Okay, that's a 32 to hit Penelope. Okay. What's That'll Penelope's? That'll just hit. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit. Just hit. <laughs> Good to know. Can you cast haste on Penelope? I guess I could, yeah. That's a fun little strategy. Obviously. But I will say, uh, I don't know. She does have a lot of resistances. So she is resistant to lightning. She's resistant cold. to lightning? She gets lightning, to take off. cold, fire, and then bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from non magical. Okay. <laughs> She gets to take off six of that damage. Okay. Six total. So, 30 damage. Okay. She's up. It's lit. And... Oh, uh, he's just going to smack her one more time. Because he sees no point in keeping you in this fight if he can just do this. Does a 15 oh. hit? That's a 15 that's a does one. hit. But it's a nat yeah, one. I know. Nat it's one. a nat one. I'll give it to you guys. 15 would hit, though. Cormac? But on okay. attack rolls, nat ones are auto fails. As raw. Now we're, now we're in the fight. Right, because you can fucking fly! <laughs> Oh, fuck, Cormac, that's a horrible idea. Oh, I know. Cormac, you start running on oh, air and... Oh, oh, oh. oh that's my a god! double fucking crit, bro, what the fuck? Hell yeah. 20 misses. The yeah, second attack misses. Okay. Damn, if only, it, if only he was a structure. <laughs> Alright. I think there's 63 on the first one. Fuck me. You run through the air in this massive leap and this giant cleave as he vanishes for a second, sort of reappears. And you start falling? Well... Yeah, you, you do, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys watch this going, just, just gone. Uh, by the way, uh, for the Storm of Vengeance effects this turn, guys, since I need to do those as well, um. How far do you fall each round? By the way, I need every single I person to make to, like, me a deck save. And grab Cormac. Ooh, I'm hasted. Um, so I get that at advantage. Yep. Uh, everyone, make me a deck save. By the way. Oh, is this <laughs> including Penelope? <laughs> oh fuck! I really need to, Varus. I need to stand next to you at all fucking times because you just fucking died, bro. I, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Where that twenty? Cormac, Cormac, what are the odds oh, sorry, uh, of that? Uh, Jukka, yeah. Two deck saves, one for Penelope, one for you. The odds of a double roll is just one in twenty, because it doesn't matter what the first roll is. Yeah, but the second roll has to match, so it's one in twenty to match. Um, and another one for Penelope. Yeah, oh. since I don't think she uses your decks. No, she doesn't. Let me. Oh, she gets a. All right, so real quick. Uh, Varus is damage. Yeah, Varus is down. <laughs> Varus is damage. Can I use a luck point real quick? Yeah, for what? Oh, yeah, well, this is your last uh, one. I don't think it matters. It's no, only you're right, damage. I'll take it. It's only half okay, 21 damage. damage, lightning. Okay. Didn't, but I damaged him, which would stop the storm, would it? 63 damage. He's a little cons. <gasps> He's a little concentration. I don't know if he can beat out 63 damage. What so would that, that would concept be, be? That would be 32? 31? Do you round up or down? Uh, he's going to choose uh, Legendary Resistance. He's going to choose to succeed. I thought he said he was out. Oh, no. He resisted. No, Legendary action. Actions. He's going to choose to succeed. You can do that on constant. I guess it's a save. It's a saving throw. Fuck. All 
All right. Um, can I try to grab Cormac before he falls? Make me a. Oh, yeah, can you just summon Penelope? Penelope's sleight large. of hand. Well, Penelope's a large creature, right? Yes, but it's a horse. Horses carry one person. Horses can put two. Have you ever seen two people riding one horse? Just like, I, okay. Like, Cormac, okay. Let me think about this. I'm a little heavy. You're a little big. It's a Penelope. magical fucking Pegasus. It's not a regular it's a horse. Yeah, it's Penelope a has some. Penelope's fucking strong. She does have some strength. Okay. Uh, Cormac, are you landing on Penelope or are you trying to catch Jucka's hand? Which one? Uh, cinematically, trying to grab Jucka's hand. Jucka's hand. Jucka's sleight of hand. All right. And also, Gale, since you succeeded, half this damage. Twenty. Oh my God! You almost took as much as Varus took normally. I know. Uh, so how much would it be? Twenty. Jack a sleight of hand. Or do we round up? Or uh, yeah, I got Cormac five. also sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Uh, Penelope also has to take this damage here. Penelope did fail, so Penelope takes forty-three damage. Oh. Wait, she didn't. What was she got a eighteen, nineteen, twenty? An eighteen. Twenty-three. Because she gets my oh, plus half five. Damage. So 20. And she and it's lightning, right? It's lightning, so that's correct. Resistant. Resistant, so then would be. How much health is she at? I want the number. Uh, is it halved twice? Yes. Then? It would be halved so twice, so it's ten, a quarter of the damage. damage. So 10 damage. How much damage? Oh, 11 if you round up. How much is she at? Hold on, let me. By the way, Cormac, here's your... Did you succeed that uh, save? Where did you roll that? No, you did not. Uh, Cormac, you take 30 damage. Currently at 29. Hit okay. Points. And Jaka, here's your lightning damage. You succeeded, though, so it's only half. Okay. Now, I have a question. So is he shooting lightning bolts at us? Is no, this is the storm. He's okay. calling down from the storm of vengeance. Uh, Cormac, you start falling. Uh, yeah, you're falling. How far do I fall around? Uh, six, uh, I believe, hang on, f let me, what's, hang on, fall speed, DNB, 5B, one second. Uh, when you fall from a great height, you descend 500 feet a turn. So this turn 60, next turn 500. You're currently 60 feet beneath Yanchi Bin. Well, if he, ke if he keeps going up, he's still gaining momentum upwards. So would he only fall 60 per turn, per, per, unless he does chooses not to fly again? Oh, it's, Cormac, are you saying, do you, don't you need to be on land before you can do it again, or just every turn? Every turn. So it's every turn, because he's still- So you're just gonna keep speed. running the fuck up? You're just gonna keep running up until you <laughs> touch the ground. <laughs> Run, swing, fall. Run, swing, fall. Yeah. And you could theoretically fall like feather, motherfucker. You're just gonna slowly get to the ground. Okay, you're you're fine. Yeah, you'll take like no damage. <laughs> you watch us go back. <laughs> it's like it's like when Mario runs in the air for a second, or like Yoshi, like Yoshi. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gale, you see Cormac falling. He seems fine. Did he seems did Cormac do his <laughs> turn? <laughs> yeah, that was the leap and swing. Well, you didn't swing. Cormac, did you not actually roll to hit? No, I didn't roll to hit. I didn't realize. Yeah, you rolled your turn. crit. Yeah, he rolled that his was crit. The last turn. No, it wasn't. How did Since he get all of the damage and whatnot in? Because that was the Storm of Vengeance. That does it every turn. That does a loop every turn. Cormac oh. rolled his crit, then Storm of Vengeance damage. Now it's Gale's turn. That oh. just took a while. Oh, okay. Okay, then I yeah, will just... <clears throat> run over. And I'm going to do this. Don't don't judge me, Varys, but I'm putting one point of play on the hands. No, I'm going to you do shouldn't this have. You really 70. should not have. I'm doing this 70 times. Don't. I hope you know that. 
Six. You're done when Don't. I see you. Don't. You can't Don't refuse. You're down. What? Why? But why not? Barris, you're on target. One HP. Because of. Because of this. What's this? Searing, Searing vengeance. vengeance. Oh. What I know he could do that. Well, That's, no. I now you know. Varys, again. But Varys, you do have haste on, so you do have two actions. But Will said that legendary. The legendary well, action well, in your the case turn. of haste, so you have only an action, and then your whole turn. Your whole turn is consumed, but you still have one action after that. Okay. I will. I will allow that. So am I, am I at one hit point? Yes. Sorry, I didn't know that, man. If I if I knew that I could stand on the back of Penelope to hit, I would have. I. It's, it's not so much standing. You'd be like sitting and swinging. Uh, I didn't even think about that either. But are you telling me at the end of my turn I would fall five hundred feet? So what would happen is how when That's it's the rule is momentum. falling speed is 500 feet. So you fall at first uh, as if you dashed. So you would just fall 60 feet. So 60 feet. And then you would move your turn again and then fall it. And then move your turn and then fall it. So you could just keep dashing and then falling the distance you dashed and never really fall at all. Well, if that's the case, then I could keep swinging at it every turn. Well, you'd have... I guess you'd just keep infinitely going in place, wouldn't you? Right. I would fall, and then on my turn I'd move up, swing, and then fall. I need to read this ruling. Hang on. There's no yeah. way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just says it just. I have it pulled up right here. While raging, you have a Xanathar's speed guide of everything. Your, while you're equal, Xanathar's. It's part of PHB. No, nope. Xanathar's guide. Flying creatures and falling. Um, oh, the falling. I thought you meant the. If you'd like a flying creature to have a better chance of surviving a fall than a non-flying creature, use this rule. Subtract the current creature's flying speed from the distance it fell before calculating damage. Uh, if you use the rule for rate of falling in previous section, flying creature descends 500 feet on the turn it falls, as all creatures do. If the creature starts any of its later turns still falling, it can half... It can ha oh, so you can... Okay, so you fall 500 feet this turn, and then you can start doing everything. So you can't get back up to him, but you won't take damage when you hit the ground. Is this an optional rule? This is the Xanathar official ruling. Okay. Well, I have a solution. Okay. Don't you have Cape of the Mountain back? Yeah, but it's a, it's total distance is 500 feet. So you can just go straight up and then start running again. You can... On your turn, just teleport right away, and you'll be 500 feet back up. You'll be at Yanchi Ben. Or move five feet up in the air and teleport onto Penelope's back. That is also true. That works as well. Varys. Legendary action, one more time. Come on, motherfucker. He's got one more legendary resistance left. He doesn't need it yet. You can use my action to cast hold monster. That's a con save? Yep. Wouldn't it be a charisma? Wisdom. Wisdom. Oh, wisdom. 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 He's pretty wise. Well, he rolled. He just used the same roll. I mean. Fuck, Meets does so beat. So close. Yep. Joker. Okay. Um, where is Cormac right now? Five hundred feet down. beneath you. <laughs> Rut row. That's no bueno. I don't like that. Okay. I think I'm gonna use one of my actions cast a spell and then I can still get one attack on him hey by the way on Nanchi Ben's turn I need Gale and Varys to make me a 
dex save. Um, right, right now? On the Archie Bin's turn. Pajaka, what are you doing? All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to. At the yard. Oh, I am so and... stupid. Probably. I could have taken no damage from that storm of disaster. Shield master. Okay, so for my turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cast Bane on okay. Yanji Ben. Um, so, put that in there. I guess level one because I don't need more than one creature. Uh, so charisma? Charisma saving throw. Feeling he's gonna succeed that. He succeeds that. Well. Alright, then I'm gonna just attack once. Okay, uh, you cast a spell. Mm, but I get two attacks, yeah, right? So spell is a different action. It's spell attack it's counts flavored. as a whole action. How it's worded is you can take two attacks when you take the attack action. In that case, then I will, uh, shit. Okay. Then I guess I will. If you're saying this really slowly just to end with, end my turn, I'm going to slaughter you. No, I'm not. I'm going to... Alright. Well, Penelope gets a turn, too. So, she is going to take the disengage action. Wise. And fly straight down towards Cormac. Okay. Legendary action. I thought he was out of legendary actions. Legendary actions refresh every round. Oh, it hasn't been a new round. You're right. I'm sorry. His turn. Storm of Vengeance time. Okay, so we rolled deck saves. You said? He misses me. Oh, uh, yeah, he will. Actually, each creature, you just need to be under the cloud, so he doesn't miss you. Uh, but you guys are taking literally, like, no damage. All of you guys take 2d6 damage. 9 damage. Varys, are you down? But, yeah. <laughs> Varys gets hit, hit with hail and goes down. So that's the Storm of Vengeance. You guys are beneath him, which means he has an unrestricted path. Can you guys make me that deck save? Varys, you kind of auto-fail now. Gale, make me that deck six. So that, oh, fuck. fuck. So that's 11. So I can add my you watch as the AC. ship, as I said, turning into that, that eye of the storm. You watch as the ship veers, veers up on its side, and you and Varys begin sliding. Well, Varys could do his thing, so I'm not too worried about it, but at the same time... You just see Varys' like limp body slipping off the ship. You see... <laughs> You watch Varys. Uh, I mean, so wait, so these ships don't have like a gyroscope in it at all, or like nope. nothing that helps it keep up stabilized? It's advanced enough to fucking fly, and it can't. But it's basically a giant ship in the air. That's correct. <laughs> Boat in air. So, Great. what are you doing? All right. Well, are you actually, Nidal, you'll do that on your turn. Yeah, cool, uh, but you guys gonna start sliding 15 feet a turn. Uh, Yanchi Ben's turn still. Uh, this gives him unrestricted movement here to sort of just move up and hang out with you guys. Uh, his speed is 50 feet. Uh, so the first thing he's going to do is he's actually going to go here. And you watch as he goes up and he grabs the wing and he's going to break it off. Welcome to Western Wind Session 60 where Will kills all of us with fall damage. Oh, wait, I have Featherfall. Oh. Wait. 
I'll be fine. Never mind. I think you can just. Oh, yeah, okay. So, it's a structure, so it auto hits. Uh, he's just going to roll damage against it. I'm pretty sure this will do enough to take off the wing. But I will roll anyway. It only has a little health left, so it might just destroy the whole fucking ship. Yeah. The, the, he the punches ship, a hole um, through. The ship is and you destroyed. watch as the ship begins. Yeah, the ship begins diving towards the ground. Cormac. You see Yanshi Bin diving after, following the ship down as the storm funnels after him and the ship begins to descend. All I have to do is move 10 feet up or something like that. No, the ship's coming towards you. You don't have to move at all. But 500 foot teleport would put me right there. Put you right with Unjaka's back, yeah. Oh. Oh, you can, yeah, oh yeah, you can get to the ship if you wanted, totally. I'll need a deck save once you get there, because the ship is nosedived for the ground right now. But I'm pretty sure you'll succeed at deck save. Well, the thing is, is I don't know what else to do here. Just well, try and lay, lay more damage into him, or just... He's, he, he does have health. He does have health. Like, you can kill him before you do this plan. And he is low. He is bloodied. Like, you can kill him. You don't need to do this plan. He will die. He's bloodied. He is bloodied. He's bloodied? He does not have a ton of health. <laughs> I'm not running him at max, because I knew you guys would die. We don't have cell back. Uh, well, no, because it's an air-based fight. Yeah... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going with what I think I was planning on doing, which was sure. getting back up there and trying to swing at him. But the thing is, I can't swing this turn because I used the action to freaking teleport. Yo, you know, yeah, that's fair. Is the cable meant to bank an action? I believe it's an action. Gale. Um. All right. You and so... Varus are now sliding towards the front of the ship. Um, well, I will, um, oh, since I know the ship is toast, right? More or less. It's more wood, but yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right. Um, I thought that was funny. I'm using Varus going down is a reoccurring theme. We need to get Varus some armor. I'm using... Will, I am, I am using the, the, uh, the, the new, the new, the new boy, the new storm ruler. Okay. I don't go Just down so you know. Often. Okay. Um, and, Drink well, I will, I will move, am I able to, like, move laterally? Uh, you are able to move laterally, but at a downward diagonal. Okay, that's fine. So I'll go here, and then I'm casting. I'm cast because you, because Varus, you can you can get up with your ability, right? Because you can use it. Yeah. Okay. He succeeds the strength save, I think. Uh, I rolled a deck save for hold it up. You're on the ship. Yeah, you're on. Um. All right. So he needs to make me a DC twenty deck save, which is probably going he to pass. He succeeds. He just beats it. He's immune to being prone anyway. Oh well. Fuck. Will he take? Oh, he's immune to thunder. Wait, does it do thunder? It does do thunder. I thought it was. She's immune to. Great. Even though so all wind spells did, do uh... bludgeoning, but all right. Do they? They do. W wind wall does. Uh, 3D6 I'll allow bludgeoning. you to switch to bludgeoning. I didn't know that. Isn't yeah. that supposed to be a wind spell? Because thunder is the noise. I guess. Yeah, it is. Okay, so he takes 23 damage. Okay. Varus. Whoops, did not mean to roll that. 
Start of your turn, you're gonna slide 15 feet. What are you doing? I glow with radiant energy, and I get back. I get up, back. And you watch as you slam <laughs> into the wheel as it <clears throat> as it catches you. And you were like okay. sitting on the wheel as it boom, as the ship plummets. Would I be would I be on like the the lower the banister? Yeah, you're like on okay, the banister. Okay, so I I am. This secure. guy takes two d eight radiant damage plus my charisma modifier. It's gonna be five plus high. That's ten. Ten damage. And he okay. is blinded. Wait, there's no, no save. save for this. No. Oh my god, is he immune to being blinded? Holy fuck, he's not. And I am back oh, to 70. Sight, though. Damn. But I'm still back to half my max HP. And you still have another action from haste. From haste, meaning you can do the thing. Well, that's not action. I, that's, I just when you, that's just what you can do when you take a death save. That's not even an action. Oh, Varys, are you doing the thing? Yeah, of course. Let's do the thing. No! Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Jaka. Wait, I still right. have an action. Oh, you still have another action. Haste, right, 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 right. Haste. Yield haste. Yield haste. Although that, that haste is... Synap oh. static. Oh. Intelligent save. Oh, no. Is he intelligent? Fuck. Why is he dumb? Well, they didn't. They don't have schools for elementals. Let's go! <laughs> yes. Let's go! Subtracts a d6 from everything as well as its con saves to maintain. Oh fuck! <laughs> Let's go! 8d6 psychic damage. Go ahead and roll 8d6. Yes, and then sir. Have to make a concentration on the storm, storm of disaster. Roll me a d7. Okay, roll me a d. So roll me a uh, d6. Oh. So he has to subtract one from this. This is his con save. Spell still up. All right, because it would have been what fourteen? Yeah. Yeah. Jaka. All right. Um. How is he looking? Vile, evil, but mostly injured. <laughs> God, I was he... like, what? All right. <laughs> That's <scripture>. So. <laughs> <laughs> From what I've what I've seen of him, does he look like you know like a, a strong boy, or is he more of like he's a, quick, quick he's on a, his feet. He's quick. He's not. He doesn't. He's not strong. Super strong. Okay. Also, guys, I am holding in like the piss of a lifetime here. Oh wow, same. All right. So he has a go. I, 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 I will be back. Same. I need to use the bathroom as well. <laughs> piss break. Like pee break. Yeah. If he's taking a negative one to everything, I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna hit him like crazy next round. Yeah, I wonder if I should just attack him with this weapon or actually use tsunami, which would be really fucking cool. Is tsunami gonna move him? It will. Then I won't get an attack of opportunity. If he moves away from me, I'll get an attack of opportunity. Right. But if if something moves him, I don't get that. I could push him. Well, I don't want to push him into you because then you'd take damage too. But he would take six d ten bludgeoning every turn for the next eight turns. Well, I mean, it's good damage, so. But actually, whatever I think to do on my turn with my action, this shouldn't influence you. Yeah, but, I mean, we are in the sky, and I, I mean, I don't know if, like, pushing him is what I want to do. I mean... To me, it seems like Tsunami is more of like a push spell that does damage as well. 
so I feel like I'd be using it for its secondary use there. You're saying for damage or for pushing? So I would, I'd want to be using it for damage, but I think it's more of a pushing thing than a damaging thing. You know what I was thinking while I was, you know, pissed? About how good it feels to find that. Out. That and uh, King Midas definitely died a virgin. Unless he had sex with a statue, which is kind of weird. But see, does he have to? Is it anything he touches with yeah. any part of his body, or is it anything like he touches? Specifically, his hand. Anything he touches. So, like, if he sits on a chair, it just turns to gold. Well, no, you have your clothes, so his pants are gold. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Ew. So if you all right, if you shower. The water just directly turns to gold, and then hits That's the. Pain. So it'd be water. It'd be water at first. How do you bathe? It, yeah. How do you bathe naked? I suppose. And yeah, then, but then doesn't the water turn into gold? I mean, yeah, it's a confusing bit of ideology. Yeah. Are y'all talking about M Midas's touch? Midas, yeah. Midas. We're talking about if Midas, Midas definitely died a virgin. Otherwise, he had sex with a statue. Or maybe he had sex before he got the gift? No. Doesn't seem no. probable. <laughs> Just I mean, no. Yeah. Let my, let my theory right. be right. Things probably don't have sex. God, though. Varys. Let my theory be right about the Midas touch and sex. <laughs> Do you Fuck. think he ever thought about jerking off and then was like, mm, better not. <laughs> 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 I don't think it applies to self-touch. Because, like, what would you do every time you, like, flat closed your arm? Like, your arm. Yeah, closed. I just wouldn't want to risk it, though. <laughs> it just feels like one of those things that you just don't do. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think I would go for it because, you know, it's it's the golden touch. <laughs> that's true. It's it's a strange situation to be in, that's, that's, that's for sure. Is everyone back? Oh, my God. Burger now. Now you have to show us the picture of the burger, Will. I'll just, it's a video I'll send to you guys. It's a good looking burger though. The next thing. Like... So it was only with his hand, because otherwise his bed he was laying in would have turned to gold. It was only what he touched with his hands. Oh, only with his hands? Yeah. Oh, so I guess he couldn't, like, finger blast. Maybe don't finger <laughs> finger blast your uh, girlfriend if you turn her to gold. He hugged his daughter. She turned and she turned to a statue. Yeah. Uh, does that make it legal to sell your daughter? Yeah, I guess so. Because now she's per considered like personal property. She'd be an object, not a person. But she's already a woman. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends if there's like considered human remains in there. Oh, that was such a good neck crack. Oh, that was spicy. Are you watching porn in here alone? No, I'm with the science team. Ah. <laughs> Is everyone back? Is Gail back? Is Gail back? No, hey, Gail. No, but we we can fill him in. Oh yeah. This is true. Whose turn is it anywhere? It's Jackie. my turn. Okay, so I am Stride Penelope. Uh, stride, he says. And I am going to fly back, and on my way in, I want to use my bonus action to uh, cast my Hexblade. On this guy. Okay. I'm going to take some swings. All right. Take some swings. All right. So let's go. First attack. Here 
first attack, hex blade. Oh wait, let me add I can curse on there. I don't get my fighting style. But I do get improved defense. First attack. Oh, and I get it with advantage. Uh twenty-one? Twenty-one. Twenty-one does, uh, I believe, just misses. Twenty-one just misses. Okay. Gonna take... Twenty-three? Twenty-three hits. Alright, and I'm putting a third level Divine Smite on Back. that. Well, let's do... Let's first how much that is. Okay, so that's twenty-six damage. Another 19. Okay. So, total that is 45 points of damage. 45 points of damage. He looks incredibly weak. And, uh, I'll have to do a con or a concentration save. And then minus the one. Varus, roll me a d6. Will do. What is that D6 there? Perfect. Thorb of Vengeance ends. Seeing how much damage Cormac has done to him, uh, as a, uh, before, as you end your turn, he's going to use his last legendary action here. Uh, his last, uh, all of his legendary actions for this one. Cormac, con save. Yeah. You just succeed, holy shit. What did he do? He tried to do the drop to zero thing. Is that a spell? Not a spell. Okay. Uh, he can move through people, just so you guys know. You can see that. When he fa it's just phasing through, just like wind opens up. So he can do it. You can see this devil. He can pass through space. Uh, and he's going to pass through you guys. And he's going to cast Gust of Wind. Like the second level spell? Yep. The one that knocks people 15 feet in any direction. I need you guys to make me a strength save. Okay. Uh, how did he get through us? He can pass through a space as narrow as an inch without provoking opportunity attacks uh, as he is just wind. Cormac, Penelope, and Jaka strength saves. Oh, Penelope disengaged. She's not there. Strength save or disengage? Where's Penelope? She, remember I got onto the ship, and then Penelope, I, well, I don't have a token. I'll show you where I thought she went. But she saw the movement, so I just kind of kept going this way. Okay. Good strength save, So I make save, a yeah. strength save. Strength save. Cormac, that fails. Well, Cormac gets my plus five. Cormac succeeds. Okay, and then, uh, I think it's just a, God, it's a strength save. Mm. Fuck 
fucking hell. Yes. God damn it. You passed every con save for Varus's weapon type. Cormac. It's, it's almost like it's almost like the winds of change are blowing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, guys, you're getting very close to the ground. You guys are starting to get like, like, like scarily close to the ground. Oh, are we? Perfect. Twenty-three and twenty-five. Twenty-three and twenty-five. Both hit. Okay. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty-five damage. Forty-five damage. You cut into him. For the first time, you see he does not dematerialize. You see blood. Impossible. Yeah. You see fear in his eyes. He is not down. Some people call us impressive. What? I thought you were immune to fear. Gale. All right. Featherfall. <laughs> Featherfall on everyone? On everyone besides Yanshi Bin. Um, you mean Yonchi, bitch? Okay. Because <laughs> <Yonchi, little bitch. laughs> um, you would say we're falling, right? You are falling. So that uses my reaction. Um. Are you serious? I can't do anything else other than that? Bro, I don't have range. Uh. Hmm. He's immune to that. Ah. Uh. Oh, I can't cast that. It's another concentration. Wait, is Featherfall concentration? No, it's not. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. He's immune to thunder. Fuck. Is that is that just your turn? Varus can end it right no, now. Hold on. Fuck it! Uh, wait, hold on. What am I holding? Oh, man. <laughs> Wind wall! That, he's immune to it. It's bludgeoning! Oh, okay. Wind wall's bludgeoning. Alright. Um, Wind wall! This is, I am just using this as a cast, not through the sword. I'm putting it... Because it is only a foot thick... And anyone in it is just there, so I'm putting it like here, so the other my two compatriots are not affected. All um, right. So I believe. Hold on. So I believe this is a save. Um. Yeah. Strength save. Which he also has the D6. Fuck. He needs it. Legendary resistance. Uh, oh. I'm gonna roll first, but he's gonna have to use it. Otherwise, you don't just die. No, he just passes. Never mind. So he doesn't need to use it. Nah, that's not fair. I did, I did say he's going to use it. I did say he's going to use it. He blows it. Yeah, he I was it. like, you can't just say, then roll, realize you passed. Yeah, uh, no, not. legendary resistance. Oh, you're right. right. He used it. Um. Oh, yeah, right. After all damage. Uh, so he'll take negligible. Oh, he takes eight damage. Eight damage. Eight damage. Varus. You see him, he's nearly falling at this point. He's verging into the... He's reached the single digits of HP. Oh! I use Eldritch Blast on this guy. Oh, you're not even risking it? You're just... Yes. Are you sure? I mean, you I do mean, have an extra action. In my action, no, that, that cast in my Eldritch Blast. You oh, 15, fire Excuse the me. Eldritch Blast. And he falls with you guys. Well, he actually falls ahead of us because we're Featherfall. As you guys watch as the airship, boom, collides, crashing through fields and doing a significant amount of damage to nearby property. Fuck, my nudie mag was on there. You're gonna cast the mending cantrip. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God we have mending. Just mends the whole boat. <laughs> you see 
this withered, as you guys land very slowly, you see this withered corpse lying there at the end. This yep. massive mess of robes and fading gray skin. And he just lies there. Let it be known. I gave you the option. Archstep. Archstep! <laughs> No, but in the end it will not matter. You cannot defeat the inevitable. Go on thinking your false ideas into the afterlife. Boom, sword. I want to. I want to stab him with the fire sword just for good measure. Just make sure he's dead. And as Gale strikes first. Gale, you draw the essence into the blade. As he dies. Can I revivify him so Paris can kill him again? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> and then I can revivify him again and kill him all over again. No, we gotta can reserve we, that for Mondolin. Can we just, yeah, can we? <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a nice end that I killed my grandpa. And that, guys. Out with the old, in with the new. Is where we will call this session. Yeah, we 